Right there. And, uh, you're very safe. I'm bumping away. Come on, yay. Here we go. Look how great this is. Oh, it's so, it's like doing nothing. Uh, guys, <laughs> doing nothing. <laughs> look at these beautiful balloons. Now that one you said is a single person. Oh, look. Look how he's in the, what? Uh -huh. Yeah, the whole champagne tradition started in France in the early years because uh, the balloons in those days were painted black. They were hydrogen balloons, okay? And they were painted black with a tar. And they called them the black moon. And uh, they would land in farmers' fields, and the farmers thought, again, this is a devil. It's something from the sky. They didn't know what it was, and the, and the hydrogen smelled awful. And they come out with pitchforks. And it would destroy the balloons. And these were very, very expensive scientific contraptions back in those days. Right. Uh, the king of France actually put out an edict to the countryside not to destroy the balloons, but the way in those days, they carried ballast. That's how they go up and down. Okay. And they decided to carry champagne as ballast. And then when they landed, they gave out the le leftover champagne to the to the people, and that made them very calm and very happy. Okay. You're gonna bounce a little here. There we go, we're landing. Okay. Now stay in a basket. What I need to do is ask these people for permission to land on their front yard. And uh, I need to. You're keeping it off the burner. Not there. Yeah. Yeah, there we go. That should get her. Now to my next guest, Lee Thomas says that she survived a murder attempt by her now ex-husband, thankfully ex-husband. Her trials and tribulations are chronicled in her book, An Ordinary Journey. Uh, Lee joins me right now live from Washington. Uh, Lee, can you briefly describe how he tried to kill you? The whole room changed at that point. There became a heated argument, and he came across the room to me within about two seconds. I've never seen anything like it. It was almost as if it were a cartoon. He was in my face, and he was shouting at me and saying, you're going to sign these cards. And at that point, his whole face changed. The look in his eyes changed. Everything about the room and him changed. And when he threw his arm into the air, I knew he was getting ready to hit me. And I knew one of us was not going to leave that room alive. Well, and I pretty, I, sorry, I pretty much figured it was going to be me not leaving. But thankfully you survived that. And you, uh, uh, is your basic message, I'm running out of time here, mm -hmm. that if a woman is assailed in that manner, she has to get out of the danger zone immediately? Absolutely. Absolutely. I thank you very much for being with me, Lee. OrdinaryJourney.com, ladies. If you uh, are in trouble, go for it. We'll be right back. Now this is the way a yard should look. And then I'm gonna take you and show you my yard, okay? Because we're starting a new series called Even Lee Can Do It. I know, go figure, but that's what we're starting. So let's go take a look at my place. Come on. It's not that far away. Just walk and talk with me. Now, this is not my place, but it kind of looks, but if you take a look here, this is my place. What's wrong with this place? I know. And it's a little grown up, a little overgrown. It's um, a little more than most people can handle. And the good thing is, you may not know this, but come Saturday, let's see, this is Thursday afternoon. Come Saturday, I'm going to be in the garden tour. I know, I know, I know. If you think this is bad, you should see the garden. We're gonna go take a look and if I was a drinking man, I might have a sip before you go back there because it might be too much for your heart, but we're going to go take a look. Come on. Okay. okay, so I painted and I painted and I painted and I painted, and what did I find out? Landscapers can't come. So I've got less than 48 hours to fix this garden. I told you you're going to need a drink to see this, but come take a look. Now, isn't this a mess? 
look at this. It has a lot of potential. We've got a lot that we've got to do. I've got to trim and weed and weed whack and plant and pull. So you're going to come back on Saturday. Oh, and we've got to do all this too. I don't know. There's just so much to do. <laughs> but even Lee can do it. So come back on Saturday and we're going to take a look and see just what I did. Okay? We'll see you all later. My garden is an old English garden. Um, it was pretty mature when I, when I moved in about seven years ago. However, it requires a lot of upkeep if you want to make sure that it doesn't get overrun with the ivy. And um, I like to put the geraniums out there and the white impatience around the tree because at night it illuminates the tree. And I put the chandelier in the tree uh, with the candles and the fountain next to it so that you have the light and the water and it's a great place to be. Now Dash likes to uh, sit in the chaise lounge out there. Actually, he's in the lounge before the cushion ever gets on it, and then he spends several hours there just relaxing. It's a great place to relax. It's a pretty place to be. It reminds me of Tennessee, and as everybody who knows me, I'm just a little girl from Tennessee, so it's a great garden to be in. Did you enjoy your yeah. tour? We did enjoy the tour. We did enjoy it. And this property, this is what you call making the best of small spaces. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. Wonderful. Thank you. Even the tiniest places can be just as gorgeous as big spaces. Oh, yes. size, sizes is, to me is not an issue. Right. In fact, after mm -hmm. we've done the tour now, I said the only downfall with my yard is that it's almost too big. You can't, we have almost an acre, so you can't get that cozy inward, you know, kind of feel with nooks and spaces because right. you just don't the big yard, you just don't have little nooks. That's right. <laughs> and you know, it's very mature. For yes. as tiny as it is, mm -hmm. it's so mature. So you can bring in the big element. Thank you, Thank you for sharing it with hey, us. Thanks. So thanks for your generosity. The great thing about this is that you get to wear a hat, and you can wear a little party dress, and you say hello to everybody. It's just, you know, warms the cockles of this little old girl from Tennessee's heart where I get to wear my hat. Because once you do something like this, you have a party. You have to have a party because you're already dressed for it and I've already cleaned and I'm not cleaning anymore, okay? So if you have a party, it's like a perfect time. And so I think we should have like a surprise party for James on his birthday. What do you think? Everybody? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear James. Happy birthday to you. Hi, this is Lee Thomas. Thank you for watching the presentation of my new show, Even Lee Can Do It. My information's on the screen, so let me know if you have a segment suggestion, would like to become a sponsor, add me to your viewing schedule, or distribute the show. Now I've got to run. There's a new adventure waiting, and you know it can't be that hard. Even Lee Can Do It. <laughs>